south to the south we take Lynn. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. My question is this. The state is expecting a deficit of over $1 billion for the next two years. Also, the legislature is not fully funding basic education. How would you address the projected deficit and its potential impact on education, health, and human services that many low-income residents in our state and community rely on? What type of tax breaks, if any, would you support eliminating? Thank you. The state is forecasting a $1 billion deficit, and they're also forecasting that there will be more than $2 billion of new tax revenue coming into the state budget. So after the state budget growing uh, by over $2 billion, they're still going to face a $1 billion shortfall. So we're going to work to reduce that and eliminate that shortfall by making changes to how state government is run to save money in administration and overhead so we can focus it in human services uh, and in education. Remember, we're under a court order now from the Supreme Court to adequately fund our schools. That's the McCleary decision. That's where we've arrived after all of these years of one group calling the shots. We're under a court order because we have not been adequately funding our schools. In order to adequately fund them, we have got to prioritize education. The rest of the state budget can grow as well, but if it grows as fast as it has been growing, we'll continue to see inadequate money for our schools, and we'll continue to see deep cuts to our colleges and universities. Tuition at our universities and colleges has nearly doubled in the last six years. So there will always be a basic safety net. We'll protect that funding. We'll do that in part by working more closely with nonprofit agencies like many that are represented here today who can deliver human services uh, even more cost effectively than the state can. And we'll implement other changes to how the state is operated to save money to uh, invest in human services. But we have to start by complying with that court order and doing what we know is right, which is to adequately fund our public schools, which we haven't been doing. 